Hey guys, James here today and welcome to the final part of Rags to Repayment. This is going to be the final part because we've kind of done everything we need to and also uh, Eco Lifestyle is just around the corner. So that means we're going to be starting a new Let's Play when that's out. We also have the current mini Let's Play going on now. So if you haven't already watched it, go check out Wax to Riches Let's Play. We're checking out Eco Lifestyle early access in that. But today we're finishing off the Rags to Repayment series. We've pretty much done everything we want. There's a couple of things to, to tie up. We also got Age and Rose up so he's ready to take the throne in the next LP. Also, remember when this was the latest world that we had? Actually, no, it's not even the latest world, is it? Oh, wait, it is. I, I, for some reason, I thought Glimmerbrook was after it. Remember when this was the latest world that we had? This old, used up Brychester world? Ew, it's so used. It's like last week's news. Oh, actually, when did this come out? Like, I don't know, six months ago, eight months ago? Anyway, take a good look at Brightchester because you won't be seeing it anymore in my Let's Plays. Nah, all things considered, it's actually a pretty cool world. I actually, do, I do really like the university gameplay. Uh, that, that was actually a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed that. But I'm just saying that when the new series comes out, we're probably exclusively going to be in uh, a green, green harbor. What is it called? Evergreen Harbor. Uh, the new world. Because... When I, when I live somewhere in this game, we typically never travel anywhere, so that's what we'll be doing. Anyway, let's tie up the loose end. So Grim has just moved in, which is pretty exciting. Uh, he's got his, he's got his room. We're gonna, I think we should give his bedroom a little bit of a makeover so it doesn't look, uh, just so regular. Uh, we can't have any babies with him. We can't really have a relationship with him. We can't even woohoo with him. Uh, I think there's probably mods for that stuff, but I don't have any of that. So we're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> oh, poor Daryl. R.I.P. Daryl, you will be missed. <laughs> I do actually really like Daryl. I do miss Daryl. Maybe we should bring him back. Um, so, uh, Trash is down there with Grim. What's up, ma'am? So what I want to do, let's go to build mode real quick. Oh, God, I forgot how laggy this, this particular... Oh, look at this stuff that Grim's got. <laughs> Why does he have this in his room? I don't know. Let's, let's see what we can do with this, though. I feel like we can make his room more deathy. I don't know... So we can get coffins, but I, I don't know if he would want to sleep in a coffin. Also, we don't really have enough room. Maybe we can give him the roof space. Let's maybe do that. Let's let's extend his room. I'm going to move all my plants. I guess we don't really... Do we really need these? Not really. I don't... What are they? Is there anything actually useful? The death flower is probably the most useful. The rest we can probably get rid of. Uh, so maybe we'll keep the death flower and just get rid of the rest because we don't really need them. I mean, I guess I could put them in my household inventory, but... I really, quite frankly, can't be bothered. So we're going to get rid of all of these. Uh, and then we'll just move the death flower. Ah, oh, this, no, this can stay here because Grim is death. So why would he not want a death flower in his room? Also, just realize how these are like going into this room here. Move them. Oh, move them. Oh, there we go. Move them a little bit out. There we go. Just so they're not sticking through the wall. Okay, cool. So that's going to go there. I'm going to now remove this door because uh, this is going to be all of Grim's room. So what I'm going to do, let's just like delete the stuff in the room. Sorry, Grim, all your stuff's going. And I don't even know if we can give him um, a coffin. I don't know if that works. Oh, we don't have ladders yet. A ladder would be perfect here. That update for the game comes out in a few days, actually, I think. It comes out on Tuesday, and I'm recording this on Thursday. So it's nearly here. We can nearly have ladders, but not yet. Uh, so I'm going to use this for now. Sure, yeah, I'll use a darker one. So we'll do that. Uh, Grim can go up here. We'll give him a sweet railing like that. Uh, I don't know what this room is going to be, but this is going to be his main bedroom up here. <laughs> okay, can we get some lights? It's just so dark as well. Let's get a light in here. So... Uh, I mean, I guess, well, to be fair, if it's grim, it, it probably could be dark. It might be nice. Let's move this over here. Let's put that there. So this room is going to be here. What is the most, most death-like thing that we could do? You know, that, this, no, that, di some dirt walls. How would that even make sense up here? I don't mind this. I think it kind of goes with the roof, actually. I quite like that. Uh, maybe we'll do that. And the flooring... Is there like one? I don't know. Oh, what about this? Yeah, yeah, this looks way tattier. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just kind of making it look bad more than death-like. I don't know. I don't, well, I don't know what death-like is. So let's do this and then that real quick so I can delete that floor. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right. So then he comes up here. We'll do a coffin here and we'll see if we can, if we can assign him to it, we will. 
If that doesn't work, then I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. Um, we'll give him just this. Should we give him a nice coffin or a bad coffin? Ah, oh, I like the I like the middle coffin. I like this one. I hope we can. I really hope we can assign him to this. It says claim. Wait, hang on. Did they not update that? Oh, that's so. Did they not update coffins? It has the old claim system. All right, fine. What we'll do, we'll give him a bed down here, but we'll keep the coffin. I don't think it will use it. But that's interesting. I feel like they probably should have updated that as well. All right, what's the most? Mo Why do I keep saying most? What's the most death? It's because I'm trying to say most death, but I keep saying most, most dest. <laughs> Let's just say that instead. What's the most dest type of bed that we have? This is pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but it's double beds. So we don't really have room. There's, there's not really. It's, it is the best one though. Maybe we can put it like this and just have it shoved in the corner, like there. <laughs> the covers part of the window. I don't know if we can get into this, uh, but we'll try. We'll absolutely try. Uh, I guess probably the default one was the best, the most best. Uh, all right, let's go. Whoops. Yeah, let's make sure you can. So go assign right side of the bed to. Oh. Can I not assign beds to Grim? Hmm. He should, yeah, he's my, he is my roommate. Let me just see if I can assign. I guess because he's Grim Reaper, we can't really assign beds. He might have actually jumped down to the one down here that's free. Yeah. If I get rid of this single bed, let's see if he'll jump to the other one. Because you're there. Does that update, like, immediately, or is it... We kind of had this issue with double beds before, though. You know, can I, um... Can I, uh, I hope that works. I do like that bed, but I'm worried that he now doesn't have room. Let's just go on the assumption that that does work. And then let's just give him some side tables and stuff. Oh, death file. We'll give him a little death file. Uh, let's get some side tables in here and all that kind of stuff. Uh, should we get a creepy light? Let's get a creepy light in here. What is, <laughs> a hand? <laughs> That's so dumb. I do kind of like, is there like a normal color version of this though? I feel like there isn't. And by normal, I mean, is there one where that is like a white bone? Like that would look cool and then a regular candle and then like a, you know, but it's all like weird, crazy colors. I don't want crazy colors. I want evil colors. Eve, wait, uh, hello, no, hello, no. Hello? Hello. Evil colors. <laughs> uh, that's not that evil though. That's kind of really normal. And so is that. None of these are... Where's all the evil lighting? I mean, there's, other, there's nothing particularly evil in here, though, you know? The only evil thing is this, and I wish it had a better color to it. <laughs> How about this? We just have this over the bed. <laughs> Doesn't fit in the room. Let's scale it down a bit, and then, like, I rotate it a bit so it's sort of... Eh, it doesn't really, it's not really a good rotation for it. But if we line it up with the edge of the, the bed head there, move it this way a bit, so it just fits in. I don't even know if you can get to that bed. We should probably test it, but there we go. <laughs> now that's evil if I ever saw it. Like if you have this over your bed, that is awful. You're gonna wake up and hit your head on it. Although actually you might just fit on No, you'd probably be fine. But that's pretty, that's pretty evil. All right, what's the most evil side table? I guess this spooky day one. Yeah, with a black cloth. There you go. That's looking good. And then maybe like we should get another thing that you can put stuff on. An evil clothes rack. Oh, mosquito stuff. <laughs> this is Grimm's wardrobe. <laughs> you can't put anything on that though. That's kind of pointless. The whole point was to, so we could put stuff on it. Maybe we'll just get the tiny living one. Little tiny living. Uh, here in the corner. It doesn't really... F all right, that's there. And then he also has all this space up here. It's kind of the idea with a coffin and he's got like a death flower, I guess. Although I feel like he's never going to use this space. He probably won't come up here, but whatever. Let's get rid of that light. Let's get... Nope. Keep the coffin. Get rid of that light. And then we do a single light bulb. In the middle. Look at that. One single light bulb, and then we also have to make it like really dim. So we go, <laughs> so it's like really bad. Set color and intensity, this light. Uh, there we go. Mm, maybe not that dim, hang on. It's gonna, have, it's gonna have some light. There you go. That's all it does. <laughs> You're getting more light from downstairs. Uh, oh, it's got weird, uh, oh. Mm, you can't really scale this light. Well, that's pretty evil, I'll go with that. Is this assigned to Grim now? Hmm. Is this door locked as well, by the way? It might be. Uh, no, it's not. That's fine. Uh, and I, I'm gonna assume Grim can get in here, because... I can't lock doors for him anyway, so it should be fine. 
Um, so he's still down here hanging out. He is still my roommate, but I'm just a little concerned because it doesn't say that this is his bed. So we might need to change this. And I know, I know when we originally did double beds, it, it did actually work for Elsa. Uh, so it might work if I just left it there, but I didn't even know if that positioning of the bed works. Like, I don't know if it's blocked with the stairs or anything. So I'm just going to use this. Oh, that's evil. Put this over here. Actually, I could just do this. I'll put it here so it's not, it's definitely not blocked by the stairs. So we can definitely access the bed. Uh, and I guess I'll just leave that there. That's fine. Whatever. I think you can use that. I don't know. All right. So that should be. Let's see, that should get assigned to Grim, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, unless... I don't know, I guess we're gonna have to wait and find out, because I've got no clue. Alright, Bob, what are you up to? What is, what is your life anymore? Where's Elsa? She's asleep. What time is it? 8.28 a.m. Alright, well, it's time to... Oh, her window's broken. Sorry. <laughs> uh, whoops, there we go. Uh, I was gonna say, well, you're the landlord, so let's just allow yourself to get in here. So let's go say, uh, allow access to Bob. There we go. And we'll say, uh, oh, that's not even locked. That's fine. All right, so is this better sign now? It doesn't seem to be. I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe when he needs to go to bed is when it gets assigned. Because maybe because it's daytime, it's not assigning a bed. I'm not really sure. Oh, his beloved Daryl passed away. Oh, hey, Elsa. That's funny, you waking up. Bright and day. What's up? We got we to gotta hook up. That's the... Uh, that's the story arc, is that we accidentally killed you and then we're gonna get back together with you because you were the coolest person at university. Oh, you've walked away from me, okay. I mean, look, I don't blame you. I, I did just kill my clone and uh, I I mean, I let Grim Reaper move into the room next yeah. to you. I hope that's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Let's get breakfast at grass. I'm really sorry that you cloned yourself and then killed him. But uh, if you wanna get breakfast, that'd be cool. I'm, I'm down for that, you know. Uh, okay, so Bob is super sad, so we're not really going to be able to do anything until he's not sad, so... Let me just complain about some problems. Hey Elsa, I'm just going to lean on you really, really hard right now. Uh, I hope that's cool. Uh, I hope that's cool. Uh, I'm just going to use you. I mean, sure I could call the sadness hotline. You're supposed to be at school, but whatever. Uh, actually, no, you know what? Not whatever. You do need to go to school, because... Excuse me, kid. You're supposed to be the heir of the next series! Uh, actually, are you going to age up anytime soon? Six days. Yeah, we're we're gonna age him up sooner than that. We'll age him up in the end of the episode. End of the episode. Send alone. No, Bob. I don't have time for you to go to work today. I'm actually gonna have you not go. Wait, where did Elsa go? Excuse me, Elsa. Don't don't leave me. I need you. I need you right now. Uh, I probably should actually just say um, work. Take vacation day. Let's just do that real quick. And then Elsa, uh, ask for advice, please. How sad am I now? Still two days. Come on, man. I'm trying to get that down. It is going down, but it still says two days. Yeah, that's really not going to help us out here. So, um, I mean, I guess if we just get you to... Can you call the sadness hotline again? Because that'll be good. Oh, no. I guess... Oh, wait, no. Wrong wrong thing. There you go. Sadness hotline. All right, Elsa. Just hang tight. All right. What is wrong with you? Oh, you're like dead. Okay. What happened to Grim? Oh, you're still... What are you doing? Why are you still down here? Let's leave Grim alone. He's fine. I just want to see if he gets his bed now. All right, so we go back up. Has he been assigned to this bed? He has not. But we do have Elsa, we've got new hair, we've got uh, Kennedy, there's no bed in there. We've got Samantha. We have assigned to no one on this bed, surprisingly. I'm not sure why that's not assigned to you. Assigned bed, that should be assigned to, oh. Can you not assign beds to kids? I don't know, anyway, Bob is assigned to that bed. And then trash to here. <laughs> if, if Grim was assigned to that, I would love it. But I guess that's not the case. Uh, okay. I don't know. Is he? I, I want to see him use that. I guess we have to wait and see. Uh, I guess I should probably also unlock that door. Oh, it is unlocked. Okay, that's fine. The robot is blocking the stairs. Uh, so the robot should probably go up here. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Go into your charging clubbed. Clubbed? What is going on? I cannot speak today. You're charging clubbed, please. Give it your best shot. There you go. Now go here, and then we're gonna say servo. Wait, wait, oh yeah, servo recharge, and then yeah, that's all. You just need to recharge. Bob is getting a phone call. Hello, um, let him retake the test. Uh, sure, cool. Now you, uh, how's your sadness going? Twenty-three hours. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere now. Give yourself a pep talk. Is there anything we can do on here? Maybe. Um, mm, comedy. That's no, probably not gonna help us. 
So that's helping. The pep talk should bring it down some more. Dude, it's just a clone. Why are you so sad? You literally cloned him with the intent to off him to get Grim to move in. Like, why are you so upset by that? <laughs> send a sad text. No, don't send a sad text. You're there. You should be studying hard, please. Uh, so trash is here. Okay. How's my laundry going? My let's laundry let's play. <laughs> Do laundry at the washing machine. There you go. Uh, and that's good. Yeah, it, it's just way quicker now. I feel like the laundry is sort of working a lot better now. I don't know why she's not sad by it. Oh, I guess she is, but not. She's more happy than sad, so. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Come on. They'll help out. And then let's do another pep talk. Can we do anything else? Uh, dude, there's like 10 toilets in this house. Use a different one. Go use like this one or something. There you go. Don't kick him out of there. He's trying to get- he's so sad. He's so distraught. And that's what- that's how you treat him? No, actually, where's that- where's that moodlet solver? Because I could probably use one of those. <laughs> do we have an- uh, do we have a cloned one? No, I might need to go clone another one. Alright, how are we going? We're at, uh, 15 hours. Great! That's not helping. Uh, as long as Elsa's still there, you know, that's fine. She seems to be around. Is this good? Nope. Hmm. I don't know what's happening with Grim, you know? What- what are you doing? Are you going to sleep in the coffin? No, you're gonna go talk to the plant. Okay. Is Grim- what is he do- he's just down here? Is he not doing anything? Do you wanna like, uh, <laughs> cheerful introduction. Do you wanna like, leave that space? I'm gonna say, can I call you over or something? Ask to cloud- let's go cloud gaze with Grim. Maybe just get him out of the basement. I just want to make sure he's not stuck in there. I feel like as a reaper of souls, he should be able to, you know, leave, but we'll see. Hey, you want to go cloud gaze? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he is stuck. I don't know. He shouldn't be, though. Like, it shouldn't... Unless this door's locked. Is, is this locked? It is. Allow access to... Hmm. See, I don't want to allow access to roommates. That poses a problem. All right, lock door for everyone. I'm gonna say lock this for everyone, but I'm gonna unlock this. So unlock, and then I'm gonna say, can we go chat here with, uh, hang on, we wanna add Grim to my group. Can I do that with Grim? I don't even know. Uh, so I wanna say, uh, hmm, maybe I can't. Hmm. All right, hang on, let's just, just chat, ask about day. I guess I can't add Grim Reaper to my group, but if I'm chatting to him already, I should be able to say, chat here yeah okay let's try that all right so we're doing a chat we're gonna say chat here are you gonna follow there we go all right so we're gonna put him in the little airlock situation then i'm gonna get rid of this basement because i don't really want this here so i'm gonna go out here which should be perfect they'll bring him out here then we lock this door again uh so locked door for everyone but household members i think that's what we had it as maybe i don't know then we unlock this door and that should allow Grim to get out, because I think now his class is a roommate, he couldn't get to where he needed to go. So there you go, so he should, yeah, there we go. Even though I feel like he should be able to teleport and do whatever he wants, I guess that's not the case. So, let's cloud gaze. No, not ask him, he's not a mermaid. He's not a mermaid, you idiot. Let's cloud gaze, please. There you go, alright. Bob is over here, is he, do you wanna like, cry or something? What's happening? How you going? How you going, Bob? Cry it out, that'll help. Any, any little bit helps, you know, and I guess I could also say here, allow access to uh, employees, so like the maiden stuff can get through. I don't know where you're going. Anyway, cry it out, Bob. Uh, let's get happy. Uh, 12 hours left. Clement Frost has heard, heard about the passing. Okay. Uh, he does actually just need to sleep. That would probably just help too. And then you could probably also just go to sleep. So you want to just go to, go to bed? Just go to sleep. I'm just, I'm kind of over it. Just, can anyone go to bed? Are you tired? You're also tired. Everyone's like, tired, so just sleep. There you go. Ah, isn't that beautiful? So apparently, wait, can I assign this bed to you or not? Oh, I can. Why? Why does it not appear that it's assigned to anyone? I don't know. Ah, isn't that beautiful? Oh, there's a fruitcake there. <laughs> beautiful. Ah. All right, anyway, uh, that's that's honestly enough of that because I need you to go to bed. So go go go, go to bed, please. Uh, Zero dollars. Great. I'm glad you cleaned. Uh, I don't know how well you actually cleaned, though. So that'll be interesting. Rachel Kilgore is here. That's great. I'm happy for you, I guess. Uh, I guess Trash could do some more videos, maybe. Maybe she could do a recorder video. A, and that's really all we can do. Uh, I guess a beauty. Oh, that's Bob. Maybe that's why. Hang on. Uh, wait, do we have anything in here? We do! Quality good! 
Oh, uh, let's add some effects. Hell yeah. And then we'll go add some transitions. Oh, I totally forgot that was in there. Okay, so Bob's having a sleep. Hopefully that should be gone soon in 11 hours. Can we go faster, please? I guess not. There's just so many people on this lot now. <laughs> Is this the sign of Grim yet? He doesn't seem to want to be assigned to that bed. That one's Elsa. Okay. It is like a sign, but I'm just a little worried because maybe this, maybe because this is technically blocking it as well. I, I don't, I just don't want to have to go through the trouble of Grim moving out and then we're having to put him back in again. So I'm worried that maybe that light, because it was blocking it, it couldn't get to it. Where is Grim? What is he up to? Oh, he's in here. He's having a little float. What are you up to, dude? Oh, you're going to play some, <laughs> some juice bong. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, Grim. Uh, or not. Some, someone was going to play, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Is he waiting for someone? <laughs> I'm not really sure. He's still waiting there. So I'm not really sure what his plan is there. But anyway, have you been assigned the bed yet? No. I'm really confused as to why this bed is not being assigned. I'm, I'm hoping it's just because he's not going to bed yet. And maybe as he goes to sleep, it will. I, I just can't assign it manually because it just doesn't let me. Hello? Hello? Uh, no, I don't want to do a talent, talent showcase right now, Santa. I'm busy. I'm busy dealing with my emotions, okay? Let's go have a mud bath. That'll be great. Are you, um, can I go faster, please? Like, I can't, I just can't fast forward, you know? Do you want to go play Juice Pong against Grim? Oh, you can't. Are we, it's annoying that we can't, like, the, I guess maybe if I go meet him first, let's go funny introduction. So if I go, like, Hello, I am a robot. Hi, I'm Grim. I just moved in upstairs. That is very cool. Cannot compute. Cannot compute. Destroy. Destroy. All right, mate. That's enough. I'm just going to watch some TV. Cool. Wipe screen transitions. Sweet. Uh, so you're doing this. You're doing some video editing. That's great. Then after that, how's the video going, actually? Is it good? It's, gr it's great. Okay. Now it's excellent! Fantastic. Let's upload the video. So that one was about bed bugs. That's pretty cool. So we'll get that out there. Then we should probably record a video. A sad vlog. Uh, let's do that. Do I name it now or after? That's oh, afterwards. Okay. Now, Bob, you have enough energy now so you can get up. Go to the toilet, do all that stuff, have a mud bath. You're still sad for seven more hours. Honestly, for a clone that you created that you could just create another one of. Like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that Daryl is gone, but you're just gonna have to get over it, honestly. I mean, we could bring him back if we wanted to, but I don't really want to. Didn't we run out? Of, we ran out of Ambrosia, didn't we? Because Ambrose ate it. <laughs> Speaking of Ambrose eating stuff, we should probably age him up. Can I get you, uh, robot, to come over here and make a cake, please? So you come and make the kid a cake because the parents can't handle it, so the robot will do it. Uh, Bob is gonna have a mud bath, it'll be beautiful. Give yourself a pep talk afterwards. There you go. Look at that. Uh, actually, no. Have a shower afterwards. Take a uh, shower, just regular, and then a pep talk. And then, surely, how is this not making you happy? This should be, this should be good. Look at this. Oh, God, imagine having a mud bath at home and then having to clean out your tub afterwards. That would be... The, your, your bathtub's not going to look like that afterwards. And I don't know that you can even drain that. Like... Down the drain. Surely there's like some law against just shoving mud down your drain. Anyway, have a shower. Uh, let's stop talking about real life and play Sims for a minute, please. Um, all right, so he's having a shower. That's all good. Did you make that cake? Is that done? Sad vlog. Here we go. How my brother, no, half brother cloned himself and killed himself. I guess it's not himself though. And killed clone self. <laughs> Good vlog. All right, there's the cake. Kid, get up here. It's time to become a teenager. It's time to become an angsty teen. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Do you wanna put that cake? Where, where are you going? What? What is their obsession with always putting it on this coffee table? Just put it here. There's a whole spot right here. Please. <laughs> right, add birthday candles, please. All right, Ambrose, time to age up. Here we go. Blow out candles. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great childhood. Although you're growing up extremely sad. Actually, what are your grades? Uh, your grades are B. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's alright. So we'll become a teenager. That'll be nice. 
I like how the robot's singing to him. All right, so we're going to change the aspiration when uh, Eco Lifestyle comes out. So I'm not too worried about whatever we pick right now. We'll do one of the new aspirations. So I guess the one thing to pay attention to is the little bonus trait, because we'll get the bonus trait depending on which aspiration we choose. So it depends what we really want to do, business savvy or knowledge. Uh, if we're going to be living, we're going to be recycling. I guess like a nature one might be good. So collector, man, that's not so good. What are, what other bonus traits can we actually get? Uh, Sims build friendly relationships faster. That could be useful, actually. That could be really useful for uh, um, the eco lifestyle voting stuff. These Sims become happy when they're in the home neighborhood. Lame food. What can we do with that? Essence of flavor. Sims essence of flavor make high quality food and drink. No, let's. I reckon the popularity one's probably good. So let's say we're going to make him friend of the world. We'll change the actual aspiration when the pack comes out. But it means we get this bonus trait here, which will allow us to build friendly relationships faster, which is just good. And then likewise, I'm actually going to change the traits with Eco Lifestyle. I'll just cheat to change them because I don't, I mean, I don't want to have to manually skill up and then do a whole retrading thing. That's way too much. But we'll just give him creative for now. We'll change that later. Oh, you've got to, you've got to be kidding me. What is his hairstyle? Um, and his mom... Or dad, I guess, we don't really know. Senior pollination technician, uh, number three, I sent Amber as a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail soon. You look very much like a... Pfft, what are you doing? What are you doing back there? I don't know. This is his disguise, I guess. He is an alien, though. Let's uh, see what he actually... No, 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 no. Don't alter disguise. Please don't. Please don't. Uh, I wanted to get out of my disguise. How do I change back to normal? Remove disguise. And then also add candles, because we do need to make you an adult as well. We'll just do that. And, like, We're making him an adult now. We won't worry about it. It's fine. Come on. Come on, change back to normal, please. Come on. Come on. Dude! There you go. Alright. So you got little elf ears. Aww. Aww, so cute. This is Ambrose. He looks great. And now we're gonna age you up again. Blow out candles. Because I don't want to have to deal with school. You're gonna now be an adult. And your dad's gonna get with Elsa. And it's all gonna be happily ever after. And I think that's all we really have to do. Um, oh, cool. We got some responsible traits somehow. I don't know. And you can be active. We'll change that anyway. Cool. All right. So that's that. Um, you can get some leftovers if you want to eat some proper food. Uh, that laundry, whatever happened with this? Is this unload and put away? Clean and dry. Okay. Who is not doing stuff? You put that away. All right. Now, Grim, is this his bed? No. I don't know why. Oh, he can go to university. I don't know why this is not becoming his bed, and I also don't know why I just had a big voice crack as I said that. Uh, I don't know. This one does not seem to want to assign to Grim. Let's give him this. Here you go. Good luck. If that works, I'll, I'll be surprised. I don't know. I don't know, man. The, the, the bed is just not being assigned to Grim at all. And that's not- the door's not locked, is it? It is not locked. Hmm. I really don't know, because the old bed was. I kind of wish I didn't mess around with all the beds now, because it, it was working, and now it's just not. Hmm. I don't know. Hopefully Grim will be okay. Where is Grim? Who are you? Secret society member. What are you doing here? Hello? I, don't, I actually don't know what they're doing here, but... Oh, they're just going to the sink. Okay, cool. They came in here to get a drink. Uh, so Grim's down here hanging out with the robot. Robot's sad. That's all good. Bob, are you still sad? Nine minutes. Okay, you're finally, you're going to be finally done with that. Where's Elsa? Oh, she's in bed. That's all right. That's all right. We don't have time for her to be in bed right now. Oh, she's she's awake. That's fine. Uh, go here, please. Wait, where, where are you going? Okay, good. Stay there. Bright and day. Bob's coming to say hi. <laughs> Hey, what's up? What is this? Oh, I've got um, some nice clothes. Hey, Elsa, what's going on? It's good to see you again. We're really good friends. Um, I'm in a pretty good mood, so let's go ask. Are you single? What's the deal? You know, I know you live here. I don't keep an eye on you or anything, uh, but uh, I've always, you know, I've always liked you ever since we first met in university. I know why I hung out with new hair. I had had a fling with new hair. I had a fling with about everybody on campus. But you, Elsa. Hmm. Actually, did we ever have a fling with Elsa or did we never? I don't remember. I feel like she rejected me every time. I really don't remember. It's been a while now. It's been a few months. I think she rejected us though. But she she seems to be into it now, so that's good. Um, Elsa is single. Oh, wait, what did I just do? Embra Why did I embrace? Why would I do that? Uh-oh. 
Get to know. Sorry, I came on too strong. Um, smooth. Where's my smooth, smooth apology? Uh, ask, no, not reassurance. How can I just be cool? Be cool, dude. Be cool. <laughs> where's the be cool option? Become best friends. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, but also, where's the apologize thing? Is that in romance? Oh, we're best friends. Do a little bit of flirt. No, actually, we hang on. Don't flirt. Don't flirt. We're both embarrassed right now. That's not. That's not going to help anyone. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're okay. You're inspired. I'm happy. Here we go. We can flirt again. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. Compliment appearance. I mean, I'm, I. I don't know that outfit. <laughs> not really doing it for me, but uh, I, you know what? I'll tell her it looks good. It looks good. I mean, it shows that you're. You know what? Actually, I do like the outfit. I do like it because it shows confidence. If you can wear something like this and not. Be shy about it. That's confidence right there. <laughs> and that's that's very admirable, you know? I wish I had that kind of confidence. Um, no, don't confess attraction, especially not while she's on the toilet. Um, let's see, let's go a little bit of flirting. I mean, you can wait, you can wait, Bob, wait, Bob. She's on the toilet, Bob. I mean, yes, that was entirely my fault. Because I told him, I, I just thought he might wait till afterwards. Joke about old times? Sure. Oh, she's not embarrassed. I mean, Bob's kind of embarrassed, but not really. Okay. <laughs> I remember in university when you, uh, you and I were in the same dorm, and uh, what happened? I used to ride a bicycle in the in the hall. No, stop embracing. Stop embracing. Why do I keep clicking that? I used to ride my bicycle down the, the hallway in the dorms. That was pretty cool. Um. Man, these these options are not great. Let's do a little bit of sweet talk, maybe. That might be good. Now, do we have to be doing this in the bathroom? Because this is not a really nice place to do it. Can we go sit and chat on the couch? Especially especially after she got off the toilet and left it like that. Like, before she sat down, it was clean. This is not a great place to be, uh, to be flirting. It's kind of gross. What are you up to, Ambrose? Oh, you're down here mourning Daryl. Stop mourning Daryl. Are we going to have to bring Daryl back too? Is that, is that, is that what we're going to have to do? Because I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm confiscating Daryl. Daryl is going... He's going into the household inventory. I have needs. Oh, I don't care, Kennedy. Whatever. Quite frankly, Kennedy, I don't care. <laughs> it's the last episode of the series. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, God. What's happening? All right, are we going to go chat on the couch now? We've got a little bit of romance going here. There's a little bit of romantic interest. Not a lot. But maybe enough to spark something. You know? There we go. I, I am also starving right now. Uh, maybe a little pickup line. See how that works, maybe. No, not mischief. Oh, and she's gone. Cool. Uh, do you mind, please? Compliment appearance. Do you mind sitting back down, please? Because I don't... I, I, mean, I thought we could sit on the couch together. That'd be nice. I'll give you a romantic gift. I will give you uh, a robot arm. No, I'll give you a holly. There you go. Kiss hands. She's a little bit flirty now, so this could actually work. I mean, kissing hands is a little... That's very forward. Very forward for, like, the first flirting encounter to just be like... Mm. I mean, that would ooze confidence if you could do that. But then you also have to really read the situation. You can't just do that to someone. That, that's just... You can't do that. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even do that to people that I'm, I know. And <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's just... It's a lot. You want a massage? I'll give you a massage. Oh, don't, don't leave. Oh, okay. She's just playing the guitar now. Um, hang on, I'll, get, I'll come give you a sweet, sweet pose, and uh, I'll blow you a kiss, and then offer a rose. Did she even take my gift? My romantic gift? Or did she not? Compliment appearance. Uh, and then I would like to- this is like the worst angle that I'm on right now, too. <laughs> like, the way I'm viewing that, was, I'm just not looking at all. All right, there we go. Uh, can we have a kiss yet? Are we even at that stage? Oh, there we go, we can have a kiss. All right. Here we go, we're getting somewhere now. Uh, <laughs> Trash is over there talking to the robot. Ambrose is playing some chess. Do you wanna, do you wanna join? Now all the ages don't make sense anymore, but let's just go with the idea that because Ambrose is an alien, he just ages up quicker. That way we don't have to age up Bob or Trash. So that's nice. He's an alien, he just grows quick, okay? It's just his thing. <laughs> uh, uh oh, I'm very uncomfortable. Woohoo and rocket ship, I mean. Why not? Try for baby and rocket ship? Let's try that. Oh, she's not gonna be able to get there, actually. No, we can't do that. Nah, we can't- we can't do it. It won't work. Let's just try Woohoo and see where we go. Oh, Woohoo? Yeah, sure. Where- where are we going? 
Mm, I can't go anywhere. Great. Uh, you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'll say, uh, friendly. Mm -mm -mm. I have to join household. And then, you want to join join household? That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, let's move in together. How much money do you have? Oh, we got a bit of money. I'll take it. Uh, you can go there. Um, do I want to get rid of anyone? No, I guess not. They're now in the household. Okay, so Elsa is part of part of the fam now. So I've got to say, allow access to Elsa. Oh. Uh, unlock for... Wait, is this locked for that? Can she go in here now? Hang on. She might just be able to go in there now. I think it's locked for the household, isn't it? Hello? Stop. Please go in there. Let's see if it works. I just want to see if it works. Oh my god, stop talking! No, I don't think so. No, okay, no, no, okay. Unlock for specific sim. Oh. No, she must be able to get in there. Wait, why can't she get in here? Hello? Are you, wait, are you locked in here? Maybe you're locked in here. Hang on, let's get out. Come on, just leave the apartment. I've got to figure out- <laughs> I don't know how I've locked these doors. Where are you? Hello? What? Dude, leave the apartment. She can't get out. This door is not locked for her, though. If I unlock for a specific sim, it's not locked for her. But I feel like she can't get out, so I'm just gonna teleport. Hang on. Can you go in here now? Yeah. So she could- I don't know, she would seem to be locked in that apartment for some reason, even though she shouldn't have been? Oh, I guess because maybe it's locked- No, but I thought we said- I don't know. Maybe we locked- <laughs> Grim is cleaning up. <laughs> Alright. Assign left side to uh, you. And now let's go try for baby. May as well. Let's get this deed done. And then you can both go to sleep actually, because you both- Oh, actually you're not that tired. Wait, where's Bob? Why aren't you down here now? Hang on, go- Can we both go in this room please? Wait, can you not get in here? Why can't you get in there? It's not locked! It's allow access to household! You should be able to get in there. I don't know why you can't. I don't know. Now she can. I guess maybe I just have to update it. Alright, let's 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 get this show on the road. Come on. There we go. Show on the road. Let's go. Also, did Bob ever clone another Moodlet Solver? Cause I, oh, he did. Fantastic. Because that would actually be really helpful right now. Give that to Elsa in a second. Does she feel like she needs it more. Alright, so we're here for the, did they even kiss yet? I don't know that we did. Uh, becoming best friend. No, we didn't. We kind of just jumped the gun on that one. Oh well, whatever. Whatever works, that's fine. Okay, so there you go. Now let's also just quickly... Oh, oh, she's got... <laughs> I forgot she had her own thing. Where did the moodlet solver go? Did I give that to you or did I give it to someone else? That seems to have gone missing. Uh, am I giving it to Bob? Oh, I can't wait for the inventory update. Am I giving it to you? Or is it... Hang on, is it still up here? No, it's still there. Okay. It's still there. It's still there. Okay, now she's got it. So you can drink. <laughs> she's got her own. <laughs> I love that she's got her own one. That's so good. All right, Bob, I need you to go upstairs and clone another one of those, please. Because that... Oh, look at her. He's like, yeah. I waited. She was always the one that got away. I think she'd got away. I don't remember. Whatever. All right, there we go. Now she's going to finish that. Bob's going to clone that. Then we're going to go tr have a have a space baby. Oh, yeah. Space baby. Alright, clone that please. Please work. I don't want to have to deal- yeah, good. I don't want to have to deal with trying to clone things over and over again. Alright, there you go. You have that, Bob. And then you... Uh, mm, there it is. Drink that. Please. And then we're going to go up here. Drink that. Or walk first, I guess. There you uh, Cool. Alright, and then try for baby with Elsa. Oh, Elsa's got work. Well, we're gonna try for a baby first. Hey, do you wanna go to space for the first time ever? Yeah, you know that really loud noise that you always hear? Yeah, that's the rocket that we actually have on the roof here. <laughs> yeah, we have a rocket ship. I don't know if we ever told you guys that. Uh, so where does Grim sleep? Is he in here now? Grim doesn't have a bed. I don't know, man. I don't know what is going on with Grim, but... I'm surprised he's... <laughs> well, that's what's going on with Grim. He's getting down. Hmm. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite song. <laughs> I don't know. He's having a good time. He's having a good time. So what what Grim does in his downtime is not none of my business. Um, she, I mean, he could go talk to, to Trash. He was the one that caused all the sadness, to be fair. Like, he did take Daryl. Grim did take Daryl. It wasn't me. It was Grim. 
All right, where are these where are these crazy kids? Are they back yet? All righty, here we go. Elsa, let's have a check. Let's see. Uh, take a pregnancy test. Uh, yeah, miss work. I don't care. <laughs> oh, hello. Whoa. Hello. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> sure. Uh, cool. You go do that. I mean, we don't really need her to be pregnant. We kind of. I would like to be married to her. Oh, not pregnant. Oh well, we don't really need to be pregnant anyway. We, I would like to be. Let's. <laughs> okay, let's be girlfriend first. Would you like to be my girlfriend? Hey Elsa, would you like to be my girlfriend? I think it would be really cool. <laughs> That's how Bob talks, apparently. Uh, ask to be... What did I just click? No, no, no. We're not going on the date. I don't do none of this dating business. Not in the final episode, I don't. Uh, chat with Elsa. There you go. Who is ringing you? Nope. No one anymore. <laughs> it was Masami someone. Hey, what's up? Do you want to? Do you reckon we should like make this official? Or are you, are you cool? Or what's the deal? I know you moved in and all that, and we haven't really kissed yet, but that's fine. You know, I, I figured, whatever, whatever. Uh, and then I would also like to say, would you do me the honor of being my wife? Na, 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 na. I don't even know why I'm doing this. We don't even need to do this. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Ambrose could have a stepmom, you know? He's- Ambrose has already got a half-auntie? Is that how that works? How does it work if that's- that trash is Bob's half-sister? Does that mean it's Ambrose's half-auntie? Or is it just auntie? I, I don't know what the- <laughs> I don't know. This family tree, I don't know what's going on with it. Elsa's involved now. They don't have a kid, though. I think they'll just be happily ever after together, you know? Maybe they'll never get married. They'll just be engaged. That'll be nice. You can go to work, though. You can go to work now. Sorry, sorry that you're late. Um, off you go. Your live chat support agent. Great. Um, I mean, I really, I think we're done. There's not really anything else to do in this series. We've got a really nice house. We've done all that. I'm trying to get the freaking roof. Where's my roof? There it is. Couldn't figure out how to get the roof. We got our really nice house built up. It's actually looking quite nice now with all the snow around. We got all the roommates. We got Grim living next door. Kind of. I, I don't know why his bed's not working. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I broke that, but whatever. He lives here. He's here. He's down here. He's having fun. Uh, and that means we're pretty much- we're good to go. We're good to go for the, uh, eco lifestyle rags. Where- can I have the roof? There it is. Jeez. <laughs> so I changed my keyboard, and I mentioned this recently. Hang on. And it's one of these keyboards that has, like, that has this layout, and I'm really not used to this layout, this weird vertical layout. Normally they have them like three across, so I'm, I'm really not used to the layout of it, but I got it because the keys are way thinner, so then they don't make as much sound, usually if I'm not smashing it. They don't make as much sound, so it doesn't sound as bad in the video. Anyway, I'm not used to it, and that's why I was really struggling to get the roof on just then. Um, cool. All right, I'm going to leave this part here. This is it. Rags to repayment is done. We've repaid everything, except for Daryl's life. We did not repay that, but... Maybe we'll repay that in the next Rags of Riches, which will be with Ambrose. And we'll give him, we'll do the cast setup and all that kind of stuff in that series. Uh, so look forward to that. Where is he? Hello? There he is. Uh, there's Ambrose. Having a good time. Having a chat with Dad. You know, he's like, all right, man, I'm about to head off. I'm about to do my own Rags of Riches. What's, what's the advice, man? What, what is it? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.